welcome back our esteemed viewers we are still on the discussion of the lasting uh, power of patience before we went on the break or we went for the break dr doba was discussing about uh, the uh, story of salahuddin al ayyubi doctor sir what do what do we take now we have understood the scenario and how patient he was how he was able to control his emotions even though there were so many interference and so how how did the whole situation went and what was the outcome well the outcome was uh, primarily a victory you know uh, even though he did a lot of uh, he considered a lot of things exactly. to the enemy yeah but uh, uh, we learned we learned that uh, he was victorious and for a very long time. In fact, for a very long time until uh, about 1940, 1944 or so, when uh, the the Zionists came to Israel and took it over mm. from the uh, from the Arabs there. So yes. literally, it is out because of his patience yeah. that Allah gave him victory. Yes. As Allah Taala says in yes. Quran, "Inna Allah ma'a yes. He verily is yeah, with the yeah. patient. The, the parallel is uh, is a treaty of Udaybia. You know, mm. when the Meccans, who were idolaters at that time, gave very unfavorable uh, uh, conditions. Uh, yes. yes, with the Prophet, the companions of the Prophet. Didn't want. Uh, they said the agreement didn't favor them. Exactly. The prophet said it's okay. I could see said now. Said now was very agitating. How can we accept this? Yes, yes. Said Abu Bakr was telling him to calm uh, down. That the messenger of Allah will not do anything contrary to the will yes, of Allah. Yes, yes. Mm. Because they say you came for Hajj. No, you are not going for Hajj. You come back. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> you go back to your place and come back another time. Mm. Then they said, if our people, mm. any of us, mm. comes to you mm. in Medina. And says, I've become a Muslim. Mm. You should be rejected. You should, yes, you send that person back to me. So, okay. However, if any of you Muslim, mm. Muslims comes to Mecca and oh, yeah. says, well, I'm no longer a Muslim, you we are not bound to, Yes, we are not bound to send that person back. So to unfair. You. Yes, it do, it's, it's not looking, actually. It's not balanced. Hey, In fact, so while they were doing that, mm. the main negotiator for the non Muslims, his son, ran to the prophet in chains mm. and said to the prophet, I have become uh, a Muslim, but no. my father has put me in chains. <laughs> save me. And the prophet wanted to save him, and his father said, no, you cannot save him. Subhanallah. The prophet said, but we've not agreed on the, on the treaty. Mm. He said, yes, you can't save him. So the prophet so released back. Yes, the son to the father. Mm. So... But you can see, after a few years, the prophet, they themselves, even when it was unfavorable, they were the one who broke mm. the treaty. Yeah, because it wasn't favoring them. Yes. It's not the way they expected it to be. Yes. They didn't know the hidden agenda that Allah has promised. Yes. Allah has perfected for so them. So after a few years, yes. the prophet conquered them, even though, uh, and he forgave them. You can see? Exactly. Just uh, the example, that's the example that uh, Saladin took from there, mm. you know, from the, from the example of the Prophet. The Prophet forgave them, even after treating him and his people so badly. He, they, they maimed them, they killed them, you know, in a very, very terrible fashion, yeah, horrible okay. fashion. Okay. And uh, now, in some years, if you go to, if you go to Hajj, you will count three million people. Yeah. You know? Mm. The hash that they said, you cannot come. Even though you are only a few of you came, mm. you cannot participate. Imagine now, they allow everybody to come. Now, now for um, thousands of years, mm. people have been going for Hajj in millions. Exactly. If not because of that self-restraint, that uh, patience, that won't have been possible. Exactly. Maybe they will have engaged themselves in the fight, they will have been killed, you know? Mm. But patience always wins. Always, always. Yes. Uh, Alhamdulillah for that. I'm sure we've learned a lot of lessons from the story of Salahuddin al Ayyubi and his relationship with what he has learned from the story of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the conquest of Makkah. Mm. Uh, we'll be going for the second uh, point in the discussion. Yes. Maybe if I read the, the story, yeah. uh, the, 
the, the, the viewers will understand, will okay. get the flavor. Mashallah, yeah. better. No. Yes, it's, it's, this story is from the Anatomy of Peace uh, by the Arbinger Institute in America. They were the one who wrote the story. In June of 10, that is, they are, they are, they are <clears throat> comparing two ways hmm. of fighting. They will start with the Crusaders' way, then Saladin's way. Hmm. Now, in June of 1099, Crusaders from the West laid siege to Jerusalem. After... <clears throat> After 40 days, they penetrated the northern wall and flooded into the city. They slaughtered most of the city's Muslim population within two days. The last of the survivors were forced to carry the dead to mass unmarked graves, where they piled the corpses in heaps and set them on fire. These survivors were then either massacred or sold into slavery. That was the faith of the Muslims. In the their own land? Yes. The Jews, although not so numerous, fared not better. No better. In the Jewish quarter, hmm. the inhabitants fled to the main synagogue for refuge. The invaders barricaded the exits and stacked wood around the building. I, hmm. Then they touched it, burning all but few who managed to escape. They burn the people alive. The people, the, the, Jew, the, the Jews, Jews themselves, the Jews inhabitants there. Hmm. Then they touch it. These people, that's the ones who escaped, were slaughtered in hmm. the narrow streets as they attempted to flee. The brutality extended as well to local Christians. Nobody is they, they are brethren, yes, oh. who officiated at Christian holy sites. They, this priests were expelled, tortured, and forced to disclose the location of precious relics, which were then taken from them. So began nearly two centuries of strife between invaders from the West and the people of the Middle East. In the minds of many in the Middle East, today's battles are a continuation of this ancient battle for the Holy Land. Mm. They view American and European powers as crusading invaders. <laughs> that was uh, the crusaders' way of uh, of uh, collecting, of attacking a, a city. Imagine. Yes. Mm. Now this is Saladin's way. The book says, "Let me contrast Saladin's recapture of Jerusalem with the crusaders' initial invasion." In the spring of eighteen of eleven eighty seven. After the crusaders had broken a truce, they didn't attack them until they broke a truce. Mm. Saladin called upon the forces of Islam to gather in Damascus. He planned to march against the occupiers in a unified effort and drive them from their lands. Saladin sprung a, tra a, a trap on the occupying, on the westerners, mm. near the Sea of Galilee. A few escaped, including a leader named Balian of Ibelin. Mm, the one we'll talk about. Yes, previously. yes. Yeah. Balian escaped to Tyre, where, via a messenger, he made a surprising request of Saladin. Surprising indeed. Uh, mm. He asked whether he could go to Jerusalem and fetch his wife and bring her back to safety in Tyre. He promised he would not take up arms in defense of Jerusalem. Saladin agreed. However, upon arriving in Jerusalem and finding there was no one to lead its defense, Balian begged Saladin to let him out of his commitment. <laughs> he wanted to stay and lead the resistance against Saladin's, Saladin's army. Saladin not only allowed it, he sent an escort to lead Balian's wife from Jerusalem to the safety of Tyre. The siege of Jerusalem began on the 20th of September. Nine days later, Saladin's men breached the wall close to the place where the crusaders had flowed through almost 90 years earlier. Hmm. Saladin put his men under strict order not to harm a single Christian person or plunder any of their possessions. He reinforced the guards at the Christian places of worship 
and announced that the defeated peoples would be welcome to come to Jerusalem on pilgrimage whenever they liked. Hmm. As a way to restock the treasury, Saladin worked out a ransom structure with bullion for each of the city's inhabitants. His men protested that the amounts were absurdly low. Yeah, no. But Saladin was concerned for the poor among them. So much so, in fact, that when he left, when he let, so much so that he let many live without any ransom whatsoever. Mm. He sent widows and children away with gifts. His leaders objected, saying that if they were going to let so many live without any compensation, mm. they should at least increase the ransom for the wealthy. Mm. But Saladin refused. Berlin himself was allowed to live with a rich son. Saladin even sent an escort to protect him on his journey to Tyre. You understand? Mashallah. This so, is the, amazing. Yes, the, the, the comparison is that when, when you invade, you kill everybody, you killed everybody, mm. you steal everything. That's the norm of warfare. Uh, yes, and this person, he restrained himself, he let the people free, he only said those who can pay ransom should pay ransom. Now, it is very important uh, to point out one thing, mm. yeah, that, uh, and that was what we mentioned in the chapter 2 mm. uh, about, uh, about uh, meditation. meditation. Meditation increases our self-control, it mm. increases our patience. And you can see in chapter 73, Surah to Mozambique, mm. uh, Allah, 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 Allah says yeah. she meditates through mm. prayers, for example. Before he was called upon to say, mm. uh, that you should be patient about what they say. Mm. But Allah didn't say that until he prepared him through Meditation through exactly. prayers, yes. 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 And, uh, yes. and the, the, the next chapter, uh, <sighs> Allah <sighs> mentioned that uh, uh, he also talked about patience, no. uh, where he said, So they are talking about patience mm. after he's been prepared. You know, through meditation, through meditation to our patients, so we can also do this. Alhamdulillah, uh, our esteemed viewers, we will have loved to continue with the discussion, but Alhamdulillah, we call uh, Salam. The best words are those that are few but very important and hit the point. I hope we have learned a lot of lessons from the story of Salahuddin al Yubi and how we shall be patient and everything that the doctor has said so far. We ask Allah to make it a beneficial one for all of us and to make it easy for us to in, implement it in our various aspects of life. We'll be stopping here, inshallah. Uh, we'll, we hope to meet you in the next session where we'll be discussing uh, the science of smiling. We can't wait for that. Jazakallah khairan. Meet us there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.